And we do stay in our nation's capital with renewed concerns over the safety of Supreme Court justices and all public servants. Last week, Justice Kavanaugh forced to leave a restaurant after protesters gathered outside, leading to the discovery of a far left group offering to pay restaurant workers to let them know when a conservative justice dines at that restaurant. News Nation correspondent Evan Lambert is live. And Evan, we haven't heard yet from Justice Kavanaugh about this. No, and Nicole, this is an activist group. The call for tips on the location of conservative Supreme Court justices. This comes just weeks after a man was accused of trying to kill Justice Brett Kavanaugh and in this environment of increased security for all justices. A left-wing activist group is asking restaurant workers in the D.C. area to tip them off when conservative Supreme Court justices dine inside their restaurants. In a tweet, shut down D.C., offering up cash for sightings, saying, quote, we'll Venmo you $50 for a confirmed sighting and $200 if they're still there 30 minutes after your message. The group named the six conservative justices. The high court overturned Roe versus Wade, ending constitutional protections for abortion and sending the issue back to the states, half of which are likely to ban or severely curtail access to the procedure. It comes after Politico reported Justice Brett Kavanaugh was forced to skip dessert and exit out of the back of a downtown Washington Morton's Steakhouse last week after protesters arrived out front. In a statement, Morton said in part, quote, politics, regardless of your side or views, should not trample the freedom at play of the right to congregate and eat dinner. On Sunday, Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg defended the demonstrators' rights to peacefully protest. Look, when uh, public officials go into public life, we, we should expect two things. One, uh, you should always be free from violence, harassment, and intimidation. And two, you're never going to be free from criticism or peaceful protest, people exercising their First Amendment rights. But the owner of two D.C. bars who identifies himself as liberal and asked not to be identified, told News Nation, quote, protesting at businesses hurts the line cook and the server and the real people just trying to do a job. In recent weeks, after threats and protests outside their houses, Supreme Court justice security has ramped up. The justices and their immediate family members now have access to 24-7 protection by U.S. Marshals. Nobody's really being arrested for harassment. Nobody's being arrested for intimidation. Um, and so they're emboldened to take it a step further. And we did ask the Supreme Court and the U.S. Marshals about this group's offer. We are still waiting for a response. We should also note that this kind of thing is not exactly new. This happened over the last few years where several Trump administration officials were targeted by protesters while they were out dining at restaurants. No one was heard, and at the time, Democratic leadership condemned those public confrontations. Nicole? All right, Evan Lambert live in Washington. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television vision provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.